Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand the process of updating a party's GST registration details in such a way that the transactions recorded and GST returns filed earlier do not get affected. Consider that you are doing business with an unregistered party that later registers under GST or a party's business location changes to a different state. In both the cases, you will need to update the GST registration details of the party. With Tally Prime Release 3.0 or later releases, you can update a party's registration details without affecting the transactions recorded and returns filed earlier. Consider that an unregistered dealer is getting registered under GST from 1st July 2022. So you will need to update the registration details in the ledger with new effective date as 1st July 2022. As a result, the earlier invoices recorded for the party will continue to appear under the B2C invoices small section of GSTR1. From July 2022 onwards, the invoice will start appearing under the B2B invoices section of GSTR1. Now, let us see how to update the GST registration details of a party in Tally Prime. Consider that one of your regular customers who was an unregistered dealer took a regular registration or a consumer started a new business and registered under GST. To open the party ledger, press Alt G, Alter Master, Ledger, type or select the name of the ledger and press Enter. As you can see under the tax registration details, registration type is unregistered consumer. Change registration type to regular. Enter GSTIN UIN as applicable. Now enable set alter additional GST details. Specify the place of supply as applicable. The effective date screen appears. Select new effective date and press enter. Enter the date say 1st July 2022 and press enter. Press Ctrl A to save the party ledger. As a result, the voucher created from 1st July 2022 onwards will appear under the B2B invoices section of GSTR1. And the invoices record prior to the new effective date will continue to be in the B2C invoices section. Similarly, if the party has changed the state or the state gets transformed to some other state due to merger or some other reason, then you will need to update the party registration details too. After the merger of Dara and Nagar Haveli and Daman and Dew parties GST registration details have changed. You can update the state of the party in the ledger and then update other GST registration details with new effective date. You can also check the history of updates in the GST registration details of a party. From the ledger alteration screen, press Ctrl I, show more, type or select GST registration details history and press enter. You can see the dates on which the details were updated and the nature of updates. As you saw, Tally Prime provides you with a simple facility to update a party's GST registration details with new effective date without affecting the transactions recorded and returns filed earlier. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.